Well, I barely made it home. Everyone has lost control thanks to the earthquake and mysterious plague. Yeah. But I believe it was a sign when I found what the looters left behind. Relax, my love, we will soon be safe. So let's use all the air in our chests and simply float away from this mess. Yes, let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa and watch the world end. I got some beer and trail mix to hold us over till it's safe to start again. Darling, don't shed a tear, the apocalypse is here, but we can still grow older. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. As we push off from the shore, we can see the world's at war. Thanks to how beautiful the sky is tonight. The ash and clouds above our heads reflects a yellow and a blood red from the cities on fire but out of sight if it's going to be this way let's try it to win and find a good spot to throw the anchor in yes let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa and watch the world end i got my fishing pole and a propane stove the bass don't know what's coming for them darling don't shed a tear the apocalypse is here but we can still grow older we can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa Yes, we can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Coming off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil And we were thirsty for some whiskey but had not a penny to our names My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired To sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games So the other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone So I said, barkeep we came in only with our guns and good looks. We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books, but a drink would liven up our weary bones. What do you say? And he said, empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. Now, one shot, four, one shot, and I only deal in a 45. One shot, and that leaves you with one shot for your life. Well, I looked at the bullets. 
minutes, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances. So I told the boys we had a deal and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. They spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize or I'll put one shot between your eyes. One shot for one shot and I only deal in a 45. One shot is all you got. Yeah, you got one shot for your life. And then he said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores. So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next. I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun. But he was all wrist and it's all hip, so I kept my word a la tete. And then I was empty, but I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, but I was quick to my knife. He knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life. Before he ran, he let them fall on the ground And I bought the boys and kids another round <laughs> One shot for one shot And I only deal in a 45 One shot is all you got You got one shot for your life I make no haste, 
As if it goes to waste It was meant to perish now Make no haste I take a good taste One that I can cherish now One that I can cherish now And the onlookers can think whatever they please But to me it feels just as real Maybe even a little bit better See, I got no problem with frozen custard meals And I'll probably stay up here quite a bit longer Yeah, I'm just liking it this way And I think I'll be just fine Right, so I got this collaborative project with Least of All Recordings coming up. And basically, they do custom vinyl recordings. And it's one of a kind product that's really, really cool, guys. So if you end up ordering one of these one of a kind custom vinyls for yourself, they direct record my session to a seven inch for you. So let's say George comes through and buys a seven inch of a custom direct to vinyl recording of Old Boots Got Soul. This is what happens. So I'm in the recording studio and they set it up. They put the blank vinyl on their direct to vinyl recording machine. They're getting it all set up just like this as you can see. And finally, there it goes. It's ready, it's going. All they gotta do is press the needle down and they say, okay, Jeremiah, here it goes. You're rolling. And then I say, George, thank you so much for being such a big supporter of me. This old boots got soul goes out to you. I step out in the morning on and on the easy day. The world is split and unsure, so I'm sure to step in the strongest way. Wheels every footfall, I remember who I am. Each and every memory helps strengthen how I stand. We are great, but we shan't. Ain't a belief or dead end that can keep us conveying. No. Old boots got soul, so I patch them when they need it, and this life has a toll, so I bandage when I'm bleeding. Old boots got soul, and we carry on this way, and we get the better. Just for a little pay I kick off my boots Before we do it all again Always remembering where I'm going And never forgetting where I've been We are 
for you George thank you so much and then they stopped the recording and bam the vinyl is done and it ships out and then for Susie I do it again so I do the greeting I do the song again and it's recorded direct to vinyl so there is no digital nonsense in between that's like all right, I'm just going to record these intros and then everybody gets the same si song. No, everybody gets their own version of the song. I'm going to sit there and record the same song 20, 30, 40 times if I have to, but it's going to be different because it's going to go out to each and every one person who made that order. So it's a very, very special thing. And if you want to support me, this is a really cool one-of-a-kind piece of merch uh, that I think is really cool for least of all to do. So if you're interested in getting your own recording, your own custom recording of Old Boots Got Soul, or I got several other song options up, like One Shot, One for My Romeo and Julietas, oh geez, what else do I have? Viaduct, Catalyst, Kiss, a bunch of songs. Just hit that link in the description and you can see if there's any that you're interested in. And if it's not there, message me and I can make it happen. So check that out. Looking forward to this recording session with least of all. I think it being recorded direct to vinyl is super cool. And it's going to have sort of a lo-fi kind of scratchy uh, sound to it. It's going to sound really raw and really human. So it won't sound like what I just played. But the idea of it is that it goes out direct to you. So thank you so much for watching today. Check out the least of all link in the description and I'll see you around. Peace everybody. Have a good one. Exactly what I'll say. I 
I'm the connector to storytellers, commenters, and inspectors, and everything in between, but I won't lecture, ha, I'm just here to connect ya. Tellers, carpenters, and inspectors, and everything in between. But I won't lecture, I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Yo, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Welcome, Boots and Ballads Area Sport Giveaway Live Stream. Let's do this thing. Now that Thanksgiving is done, oh. it's time to have just a little fun. Do it. Ariat Sport giveaway on the Boots and Ballads live stream today. Yeah. You guys ready? It's gonna be some fun tonight. So let's kick things off right. <laughs> it's good to see you here. Boots and Ballads live stream Ariat Sport giveaway. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome. I see some new faces in here. Good to see you guys in here. Wow. Man, it is great to have you, Alaska Fearful TV. Deathlike Reviews back in here. Neil, it's got to be like 3 a.m. He's watching in the future. It's tomorrow where Neil is. Drifter, what's up? Hey, Caesar. Wyatt, howdy. Lucas Carroll, good to see you here. Baldi's Adventure. T.Y. Miller, how's it going, Wasib? Wow, you guys are the best. Hey, Governor Brown. Hey, Jurassic Crustacean. Kaz Hartman in the house. Grabby. Gabe Ramirez. Yo, when's the next coffee vid? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> no, tomorrow's Sunday. I keep, with this long weekend, I keep forgetting that today's Saturday. I thought it was Sunday all day today. <laughs> next coffee vid's on Monday. Yo, hey, Fishing with Nate. How's it going? Mm, mm. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are digging the trailer section, like when you go to a movie theater or something, you know, you show up early, you get all those trailers. I want to start, you know, putting that out there since a lot of you folks end up coming in early and just chatting anyways, so figure I might as well make it entertaining for you all while you're waiting. Thank you so much for everybody jumping in early. Hey, how's it going, Eli Reyes? Woo! Caesar says, play a song already. All right. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. You guys, <laughs> you guys must have been uh, on the radio a little bit. You know, after Thanksgiving, it's always Christmas songs. Like, bam. After Thanksgiving, it's Christmas time. Let's go. <laughs> and all you can hear on the radio are Christmas songs. Cheers to you out there. Well, you guys remember... A couple of years ago, like maybe 2015 or 2016, when the craze, the trend, the gift to give that year was a drone because drone prices just went way down. Everybody and their grandmother was getting a drone. It was crazy. And then you saw all these stories about how people were just shooting them out of the sky, right? Somebody's neighbor was flying it over their other neighbor's property and their neighbor comes out with a shotgun and just shoots it. Said, don't spy on me, neighbor. You know, and then you got all of these random cases and everything that come up, random lawsuits and things like that. Well, it's not untrue because my mom called me one day and she says, hey, hey, JC, you'll never believe this, but there was a drone over the house today. It was really, really creepy. 
So I was like, well, you should have thrown something at it, Mom. And she, she said she probably wouldn't have had that good an aim to throw something at it and hit it anyways. But it would have been funny. And it gave me an idea for a song. But before I play the song, I want to do a little giveaway for everybody in here early. So let's get it going. You guys know how this goes. When I'm doing this, we're going to comment now. And every comment after is entered to win a small little giveaway. One of my CDs. This is my Gardener Hands CD. A bottle opener made by Twisted Willow Fabrication. Stainless steel with the Boots and Ballads logo on there. Yeah. And a Wallaroo boot wallet. It's really a phone wallet, but it works inside boots too. So... That's what's going on right now. Let me know what boots you're wearing if you don't know what to comment. <clears throat> so, back to the Christmas music now that it is <laughs> Christmas season. <laughs> this is one that you won't hear on the radio for good or bad. Maybe you'd like to hear this one on the radio, and if you do, definitely call up <laughs> your radio DJ to see if they'll play it. This is called brother shot the neighbor's drone. There's something about this year's Christmas time. It makes it such a great time to spy. To all those looking forward to your first test flight Know this before you take to the sky <laughs> Brother shot the neighbor's drone this Christmas That old 12 gauge still works fine <laughs> He said he liked it better than those clay pigeons as he poked through the pieces on the property line. Oh my. While the family was enjoying all their gifts, Mama took a moment to do some chores instead. While shoveling the driveway of last night's snow, a drone flew into the back of her head. Oh my Mama smashed the neighbor's drone this Christmas She swung that shovel around and knocked it out of the sky <laughs> But there's always a bright side with Mama And now that snowman has a propeller for a bow tie I don't want to know about your Christmas So keep it to yourself <laughs> And daddy decreed this a no fly zone So cruise carefully, fly mindfully and keep it at home Time came for me to open my wife's gift and she wearily watched my hand I tore the paper open Then carefully folded it back I'll fly it around when I get to my own land <laughs> Cause brother shot the neighbor's drone this Christmas <laughs> Testing out the bird shot he got that morn now he's sitting at the window and says he's watching the sunset. But we all know what he's watching for. <laughs> Brother shot the neighbor's drone. Mama smashed one too. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> yes, 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 Merry Christmas. True story there. Well based on a true story. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop this stop the comments right there. <laughs> you can hear that one on Spotify, Apple Music. 
YouTube music, wherever you happen to listen to music, it is there. And I actually recorded that one with with a bandmate, an ex-bandmate of mine during my Jack Swift days, Pat McDermott. So he's got like the keys, the piano. It's super Christmassy. <laughs> Check it out. Hate drones. Corey hates drones. <laughs> All right, all right, so now we are going to do a random number generator here, and then I'm going to go through the comments. We got 31 folks in here right now, so we are going to make that the random number, and I'm going to work up here. All right, there it is, Caesar Aragon. Yo, congrats, congrats! Woo! First winner of the day. Yes, yes, yes. Congrats, Caesar. Here you go. You get the Wallaroo Boot Wallet, the Twisted Willow Fabrication bottle opener with the Boots and Ballads logo on here, and my album. Gardner Hands CD coming at you there. Congrats, Caesar. Congrats. Congrats. All right. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today for this Boots and Ballads Ariat Sport live stream giveaway. If you guys want to see what is up for grabs tonight, we got this pair right here of 11 and a half B. Sorry about the only size available. But sometimes that happens on this channel. Sometimes we only have one boot, and that's all we got. But it's still fun. It's still brand new. Tags are still on it, as you can see. So this is going to be a great boot for somebody out there. As you can see, we have it going on with this boot. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> it was a little bit misleading with that insole, but if it's your first experience with a 4LR, you won't even know the difference. So it's just because I was spoiled trying out that Mexican 4LR earlier than trying out this one 4LR. So <laughs> it's just a little bit misleading to me. But if it's your first time trying one, I don't think that you'll be upset at all. Hey, 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 hey. Corey asks, what do the stickers on my guitar mean? It's actually paint. So I, paint, I painted my guitar, and I did a video about that on a previous live stream actually earlier this year somebody had asked that question and i could never really get uh i couldn't really connect with this guitar because the guitar that i had before this was stolen and i'd spent up all my money or i saved up all my money to get that guitar it was a seagull and then it was stolen out of the back of my jeep and i had a show coming up so i needed another guitar it was my only guitar at the moment so i bought this one because it sounded really good it's a Martin DCX 1E. Love the sound of this guitar, but I just didn't feel connected to it because it just felt like a replacement forever. So I started painting on it. And this right here is the Jack of Spades symbol, which was the logo of my band at the time, the Jack Swift Band. And then up here, I have the Cross It, which is the road that I grew up on and also the band that I have with my brother whenever we get to play. And we're called the Brothers Cross It. And then down here, I have my Balance Direction Compass, which is my logo for everything. You can see it pretty much on everything. Here it is on the bottle opener as well, surrounded by boots. So that's what I have on my guitar. The guitar's name is the Jack of Spades. Here is the text, the Jack of Spades. So that's my guitar's name. And ever since I did that, I feel so connected with this instrument, which is important when you're trying to write songs. You gotta, you gotta be in tune with your instrument. And I'm really feeling like that nowadays. What am I drinking? Gabe Ramirez asks, he's got some Makers 46 right now. I got some Bullet Bourbon. I really like the bur Bullet Bourbon right now. I'm kind of on a kick for the Bullet. Uh, it's nice, nice lower mid shelf bourbon. I, I'm kind of digging it. Mm. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Woo! Got that spiritual experience. You know it. Spiritual experience coming through on the guitar as well. Whew. Okay. So, 
if this is your first Boots and Ballads live stream, this is like a variety show. So I go through, do giveaways, we do uh, some songs, play some music, I chat it up with you guys, ask you guys ask some questions, I try to answer them, so we're, tr- we're just like chatting. It's like all of us in a nice room just sitting around having a good time. And then I also do a uh, like a, a live boot video, which I'll edit and then put up on YouTube later on. And then at the end, I will announce the winner of the Ariat Sport boots, but also the the two winners of the $100 Ariat gift card. One was on the Facebook boot group. If you're not a part of that, then you're missing out because the things like that drop every once in a while. It's only available to folks in the boot group. And then there's another one on Instagram that I did. So folks are coming away tonight with a pair of boots and two people are coming away with $100 each to spend on Ariat.com. So we got a bunch of stuff to give away tonight, and it's going to be a great, great time. Thank you so much for joining me. Alaska Fearful TV asks, what's my favorite pair of boots? Well, that'd be this pair right here, the Boulet 7031. Here it is. Here it is. This is my first pair of boots ever. As you can see, they are beat to hell. I spilled gas on this. That's why they're all cracked up. But damn, this is my favorite pair of boots. Cannot get over it. Every time I get a new pair of boots that's like uh, I'm really, really digging, even my favorite pair of boots last year and what is going to be my favorite pair of boots this year, you'll find out in a couple weeks when I rank them, uh, they still cannot trump the original the original boot for me, the first boot ever, is my favorite boot still. Can't get enough of it. Love it. It's just character. It's just character. You know it. You know it, Alaska. <clears throat> exactly. You had those boots, Kaz? Love it. Love. It did. Death Wreck Review says this year flew by. It was like the longest year, but also the shortest year at the same time. It was the most awkward year ever. <laughs> it was it this year was old in March. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I think it's about time that we look forward to 2021 here. And uh say out with the old with this 2020. I mean, we do have a nice month coming up, especially for this channel. Got some sweet giveaways that I'll hint to you at the end of this one. At the end of this live stream. But I say it's about out with the old with this one. Which just so happens to be the name of this song. I climbed up to your doorway with my hair all strewn about. You came out from your mirror and begin to shout Yes, you handed me a poem and I tried to read it aloud But with unknown illusions, it just brought me down yeah. And your strange shadow child she knew but would not tell and i was still tossing dimes into the wishing well it was not until the day of the feast that i came down to succeed to say the least yes i feel okay i didn't need you anyway it's no different from what i'm told yes it's in out with you Now I walked in your garden all covered with bliss Because my taste buds blossomed with your gentle kiss But now you put on makeup and climb down the tree and I am skipping stones alone, feeling fancy free. Yeah. And 
sometimes I see your snake Yes, it slithers through the streets And I know that you can see me But our eyes never meet And anything that I sing Will never bring you to tears For I've seen the spiders Crawling from your ears Yes, I feel okay I didn't need you anyway It's no different from what I'm told Yes, it's in with me It's in with the new and out with the ill. Yes, I feel okay. I didn't need you anyway. It's no different from what I'm told. Yes, it's in with the new and out with the With the old, in with the new, 2021, here we come. <laughs> I know that's what we were saying in 2019. <laughs> but hey, it definitely has its silver linings, right? Totally, you're totally true. I just saw that come through on the on the uh, chat. Who said it? Who said it? Oh, I'm, am I missing it? Oh, silver linings. Sorry, I can't find your comment now. Totally. Totally has silver linings. This has been a great year for this channel, and I have to be so grateful to all of you. Like, seriously, thank you so much for subscribing, for engaging, for chatting right now, for being here right now. Uh, it's been so much fun, and I've had a blast, even though it has been a very strange and stressful year. Um, it's very polarized. have had very high highs and very low lows so it's been awesome when it is high so it's great thank you so much thank you <clears throat> Corey says how long does it take to decide what shirt to wear before a show well you know i'm a simple guy <laughs> so i don't iron my shirts when i put them away after washing them so when it comes time to decide which shirt to wear, usually I choose the one with the least wrinkles. <laughs> and today, that happened to be this one. <laughs> also, this light right here that I got shining down on me to make it a little bit more acceptable and entertaining to watch for you at home is really warm. <laughs> so, that short sleeves also played a part in my decision today. <laughs> Corey asked, the headphones are Bose. Bose headphones. I've had these for like three years. Super impressed. Headphones usually don't last me that long, and they sound great. These are all, I use these every single day. <clears throat> you guys are the best. All right, so that last song, Out With The Old, is on my CD, Gardener Hands. It's the first song off of there, and I think it's time to do another giveaway. So we're gonna do another giveaway for the same stuff here. Gardener Hands CD. We're gonna do the boot wallet here, the Wallaroo boot wallet, and a uh, bottle opener made by Twisted Willow Fabrication. This was one of the first bottle openers, the first designed uh, ones that uh, my dad made earlier this year. So we are still going through that. We still do have a couple more of the old Boots Got Soul ones, but we'll get around to that in December. So, Cooper, Voices in the Overtones, you're way ahead of me. I got that one planned for later, so don't worry. It, your, your, your suggestion will come true. Right now, we got another Christmas song coming at you, but it's not another Christmas song that you guys uh, would generally hear on the... Radio. See, I'm the I'm the kind of guy whose favorite Christmas song it, are the songs like "Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer," like the really weird ones, <laughs> the really weird ones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I write Christmas songs or when I write these holiday songs, I always have those types of things in mind. Like, what are the topics that just haven't been covered for Christmas? 
And one of the ones that I think we'll see come around here in the future, especially after this year, after the election where so many states have legalized marijuana, are the holiday and weed crossover songs, okay? Okay? But I'm a step ahead of everybody because I got one of those songs right here. And it is called Odd Nog. It's about when a family gets together, maybe that weird uncle that everybody has uh, smuggles in a little bit of weed from who knows where or you know, one of those infused products, say it's syrup or sugar. There's a bunch of different kinds of stuff that they put weed in and then they mix it with eggnog, which when you do that, it's called odd nog. That's just what it's called. So <laughs> marijuana infused eggnog and the party that ensues from the family who consumes this drug of choice. And we're going to do a giveaway for the previous things that I had mentioned, the CD, the bottle opener, and here we go. I'm going to put in comment now, and all of the comments will be entered to win after the song is done. So here is Odnog, the song about marijuana-infused eggnog. He smuggled the syrup in from Seattle Like a wise man bringing herbs from the cradle We're all together, we'll all spin like a dreidel Bust out that holiday mixer and we'll bust out a Ewa log Mix it up red and we'll merrily toast with our odd nog You wondered his weirdness, but now you forgive it Another sweet sip, you just wait to feel it Suddenly realize, Bing never sounded so great And everyone starts dancing around a half-decorated tree And not one person leaves that damn Chex Mix B yeah, ring in the love, ring in the laughter, ring in the best time that we shared together. A little odd nog, make it more odd than ever. Ring in the new year, all odd together. Songs that aren't funny and jokes that don't rhyme All the funniest things we've done all night Then come the theories of saviors born at summertime Here we go a wassailing from the flowers so green And here we go a merrily through the wonderful winter's eve Nearly dozed off by the fireplace Shuffled a bed with warm cheering grace Suddenly realize you got a smile stuck face But there's one last thing to do before we all nod off Instead of the milk we leave Santa a little odd nod yeah, ring in the love, ring in the laughter, ring in the best time that we shared together. A little odd, not make it more odd than ever. Ring in the new year, all odd together. Odd nog. <laughs> Christmas 2020. Yo, <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Is this song from personal experience? Yes. <laughs> Although I was pretty generous with the story inside of it. <laughs> all right, all right, stop. Bam. All right, all right. We got 34, 
folks in here right now. Thank you all so much for joining me on this Saturday evening. Woo! Okay, okay, we got the winner coming up right now. Here we go. It is, let's go from the top. Boom. Let's go. Okay, one, two, three. Alaska Fearful TV with the comment giveaway. That was good enough. Let's go. Give it up for Alaska Fearful TV. You get the CD, <laughs> the bottle opener, and the boot wallet. All right, all right, all right. That's what I'm talking about. How did this get all the way down here? I got to fix that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's put it up. Hmm. There we go. That's a better spot for that. <laughs> congrats, Alaska Fear Phil TV. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, so the winners tonight can email me at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. So feel free to email me there, and uh, we will chat you can send me your address and i will get this stuff in the mail to you to all of the lucky winners congrats 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 when am i doing the boot giveaway heidi at the end at the end yes 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 we got to build up to the excitement with all these other little giveaways that i'm doing <clears throat> speaking of giveaways Speaking of giveaways, yeah, go ahead. DM me on Instagram too, Caesar. That works. That works as well. All right. Wherever you chat, I should be there. I'm not really good at Snapchat, so I probably won't respond to you there. But uh, Facebook, Instagram, email, those are those are pretty much my most active places. All right, all right. So, 2020. It's coming to a close, as we were talking about before that song. And we're going to be getting into a lot of 2020 end of the year content, not just from me, but from everybody. And I want to start it off with this one right here. I want to do the 2020 fan of the year. I'm talking about the strongest stepper. I'm talking about like on all of the live streams, commenting on all the stuff on Instagram, in the Facebook boot group, you name it, he's there. So the 2020 Strongest Stepper Fan of the Year award goes out to Neil McLaren. Neil McLaren, oh yeah, congrats, congrats, Neil. Neil is on the stream right now. He is in Scotland. So on a lot of these live streams, it's like three in the morning where he's at and he's staying up and he's happy about being here. And to show my appreciation to him for all of the support and being here day in and day out, I sent him a pair of Cayman tail boots from Yeehaw Cowboy. Thank you so much, Neil. You are the best. I really appreciate everything that you do for me here every single day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Cheers to you. Strongest Stepper 2020. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. I believe it's time right now to get into the boot portion of the show. This is a variety show. You know, we like to switch things up. We like to play some music. We like to chat here. And then we also like to do some boot content, right? The live boot videos. The live boot videos. They are so much fun. Let me pull up my notes here. Oh, Caesar wants to be 2021 best stepper. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you. Neil is definitely dedicated. He's probably going for it again. <laughs> You guys are the best. Speaking of 20, 2020 and 2021, it's time for this it's time for this boot segment here. Let's get into it. We're talking about 2020 and 2021 and 
everything that's been going on, the good and the bad, well, there is one really good thing to come out of it, at least something that I've noticed, and that is a change in the cowboy boot trends, you know? We used to have the trends of uh, the square toe, right? I mean, this is the narrow square. This is classic. This is classic. But the trend seeming for the longest time... Do I have any up here? I don't even have any up here ready to show you. The trend for the longest time has been the d the wide square toe with the double stitch welt, right? It's been this kind of look. But I don't think that's really going away. There's just a new kind of trend that's on top of it. And that trend of 20 and 2021 is courting. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Courting is so popular right now. And of course, courting is this little detail up here, this design where they put it in, the cord behind the leather. And we'll get into how they make that in a second. But courting is really popular and a lot of it is thanks in part to Tacovas. So that when you see a boot like this, which is not a Tacovas, this is a Rujo boot, lots of folks say, well, Rujo's copying Tacovas. That looks just like a Tacovas boot. But Tacovas wasn't the first to do this. They're not even close to the first to do it. You see, courting has been a around for a while. In fact, Lucchese has been known to do this quite frequently, especially in their Lucchese Classics line. As you can see, the cording on the shaft there kind of is a circular thing that goes up and comes back around. They've been making this boot for a really, really long time. And on top of that, Dan Post then decided to do it too. Here's a pair of really old vintage Dan Posts that I found on eBay. And as you can see, the cording is there as well. And this is all before Tacovas was even an idea. And even before Tacovas was an idea, Blackjack did it too. This is a Blackjack boot. And as you can see, there is cording in that shaft too. But Tacovas has definitely made it popular. When we see cording, we think Tacovas just because they are so good at advertising. And they are have done great things for the cowboy boot industry. They've made so much more interest and so many more folks are interested in getting cowboy boots because of what Tacovas is doing. And I think that is really, really cool. It seems like this style has steadily grown in popularity and we're seeing it in a bunch of new boot companies and old boot companies. They are all seeming to jump on this trend because Tacovas noticed that people kind of like this and then a bunch of other companies are starting to do it and a bunch of other new companies are popping up and trying to do the same thing as well. So what are some other boot companies that are doing this now? I found a bunch. There are like 13 boot companies that are doing <laughs> they are doing cording in their designs. Uh, of course, Quero is one of them. They are right on Tacova's heels all the time. Then there's Allen's. You can see the cordon in Allen's boots. And then a new boot company, uh, which was started by Cavenders, the JRC and Sons, is doing cording as well. And of course, most of these boots are made in the same city in the world, Leon, Mexico. Most of them are all made there. It's pretty funny. And then, of course, you also have Bequesto which you can see here does the cording on this Daphne women's boot. Also, JW Boot Company is doing some cording in some of their boots. As you can see, that's what this is here. <clears throat> Even Ariat does some cording on some of their boots. As you can see in the top here of this crown, they got the cording. <clears throat> you got Stetson. As you saw at the beginning of this video, they got cording too, but they also mix it up with some stitching and things like that. So as you can see here, all this circle right here, that's all cording. And it's a great look, but I think this would have to be my favorite out of all of these that I'm showing. And we'll get into why in a second, but then you also got Yeehaw Cowboy. As you can see cording on their boots here, 
all around. And of course, as you saw at the beginning, you also got the Ruho boots. This is a new boot company as well. So lots of companies are doing the cording look. And it's like, are they copying each other? Are they just picking up on what customers want? Well, it's a probably a little bit of both. You know, the cowboy boot industry has had a long history of copying each other. Uh, in fact, a lot of it is very legal because some of these stitch patterns and things have been around for decades, if not for centuries or more. So a lot of the patterns that you'll see, like what I'm talking about, like stitch patterns, like these kind of stitch patterns, a lot of them are in the public domain, which means they are freely available for everybody to use. The copyright has expired. It's like an old folk song that I can play on this channel because nobody owns it. The copyright has expired. So um, lots of copying has gone on in the cowboy boot industry, but it's not always in the public domain. I talked to custom cowboy boot maker Lisa Sorrell earlier this year, and she has actually had big brands copy her, and this is what she had to say about it. Oops. And this is what she had to say about it. Do you ever feel like you're sharing too much or that maybe some bigger brands or, or large manufacturers take your techniques or your uh, stitch patterns or inlays or, or are you ever concerned about that? No, not really. I, I am very annoyed when a boot company steals my designs because that's just unnecessary. If you want me to be your designer, then pay me. But other than that, no, I don't worry at all about sharing techniques. So cording isn't one of those things that can be copied. It's like uh, a stitch pattern, right? This cording design is different from this cording design. Now, if Ruho was to use a cording design that was owned by Tacovas, then you might see some uh, you might see some legal action there taken by Tacovas. Or if Tacovas used one that was mainly used by Lucchese, you might see some legal action there, but because everybody uses their own kinds of designs, their own kind of styles, you're not gonna see anything. There's nothing that any of these companies can do against each other legally. So there's really nothing. It's like a very simple look that can't really be, uh, can't really be chased down for any copying allegations, right? So now that we know, like, that. How is cording actually made? Well, when I went to a factory in Leon, Mexico, where most of these boots are coming out of that use cording, I went to the Los Altos cowboy boot factory, where I saw these cowboy boots, these Yeehaw cowboy boots, get made. So here is some footage of them making the cording inside the cowboy boot. So as you can see, they have like this little tracing. It's, 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 and then they put their cord in there and then they just go around. It, it's, it's a sticky adhesive backing. So once they finish it all in the template, that's the word, it's a template. So they stick the template on there. They do all the cording and then they peel the template off. And it, it gets a little difficult because it is a very, adhesive surface so the cording stays there so as you can see she's having a little bit of trouble taking it off but once she does it's pretty straight and then she puts a backing of leather on it so that it doesn't move but then it goes over to the sewing machine because as you can see it's kind of a sloppy look just sort of sticking up there so they run some thread around the side of the cord so it really pops. So as you can see, he's running this, this, the sewing machine alongside of the cord, not like in the middle of it. There's one on both sides of that cord. So it pops out a little bit more and then they continue making the rest of the boot, right? So it's a pretty cool process that they do. And that is the process of how this boot was made, right? This cording here went through that exact process in that exact factory. So it's a really cool and good looking design. 
But why is it so popular? Well, I talked to Ruho about this because I was curious with all of you guys coming through with comments saying, it looks like that company's copying Tacovas or it looks like this company's copying Lucchese. So I said, you know, why Ruho? Why did you choose to go with the courting since it's so popular right now? Did you like, are you copying anybody? What is the deal? So this is the answer that I got back in so many words. They pretty much said simple is better. They saw that a lot of people, they don't really want a boot with a loud personality. <laughs> they went with the cording for the more sleek and sophisticated look, they said, so that the cowboy boot is more approachable to new boot wearers. Now, I think that's a really good strategy, especially right now because we are on the cusp or we're seeing the popularity of cowboy boots grow and I think it's it's really growing quite fast and part of that is because this is such a simple and sophisticated and sleek design you know there's really not much personality to this so when you wear it your personality shines through more so than what it would be like with a boot like this now when you get to wearing boots for several years, maybe a decade or more, I would say that this kind of boot that has more personality, that has a little bit more going on, is the more preferred boot, at least in my opinion. I'm at the point in my cowboy boot wearing career where this kind of boot, this JBS Stetson boot that does have the cording but also has a lot of personality in the stitch patterns here, and also in the color of the shaft, it is much more uh, approachable and much more interesting for me to wear. Um, because, you know, part of the reason why I wanted to get into wearing cowboy boots was one, their long lasting durability, but also because not very many people were wearing them up where I was. And of course, I did start with a very sleek and sophisticated look. This is just a regular brown boot. They weren't really doing that much cordon back then, so it was just the regular stitch pattern. This is a classic boule stitch pattern that you'll see on a lot of boule boots. So it was pretty much a normal choice. I probably wouldn't have gone for a lizard boot with a blue top back then. I wouldn't have gone for this boot straight out of the gate. So the fact that so many companies are making boots like this right now to pique the interest of a lot of new boot wearers, I am totally cool with. And if it's gonna be a trend, it is a great trend to have. What do you guys think about cording? Uh, you guys have had enough of it? Like once Tacova started really pushing it and you saw Quero, Bakesto, you now see in JRC and Sons, you're now seeing Ruho do it, you're seeing uh, just everybody under the sun do it. What do you guys think of the look of courting? I like it. I think it looks great. I think it's looked great for a really long time. But it is also one of those things that I could see getting old really fast. Cowboy boot wearing career. <laughs> is that what I said? That's perfect. <laughs> Love it, Alaska. Thank you. <laughs> courting gives personality. Like sneakers. Gives a boot personality. Yeah, it does. It does give a boot personality. It does. You know, you kind of got those. Same with the stitch patterns. You kind of got the flames on this one with the circles that kind of harkens back to the Lucchese Classic. I would say that this circle here is very, very similar to Lucchese's design, if not for those flames along the side, too. Those flames must have been tough <clears throat> with the cording. That must have taken a little, little bit longer. Corey gets gets a lot of shit for wearing his boots in St. Paul. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand it. People gotta, people gotta get it into it. They gotta get into the boot wearing life. They gotta start off their boot wearing career right. <laughs> Cowboy boot career. <laughs> mm. Yes. Neil says it's still new and fairly uncommon on that side of the pond, a.k.a. Scotland. But then the square toe isn't very common either. It takes a while for the boots to make their way over there. It makes, makes sense. Makes sense. Just kicking. Just kicking with your boots. You got to try it in the Grand Rapids. 
totally, totally. So I'm all for courting. If it gets people interested, they're like, oh, that's kind of a cool look. I would be totally cool wearing a boot that has the courting rather than the stitching that gets a little bit much sometimes for some folks. If this gets people into wearing cowboy boots and they're nice cowboy boots, like cowboy boots coming out of Leon aren't any jokes, guys. When we're talking to Kovas, we're talking Rujo, this is a nice boot, as you'll find out here in next month. So these boots that are made in Leon aren't, aren't, aren't nothing to laugh at. That's for damn sure. So if it gets people into boots, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. We got some more questions coming through. Are the 7031s discontinued, Tanner asks. Yes, but they do have a very similar model. It might be just a touch different in color, maybe a different stitch pattern, but it's pretty much the same boot. It's the 7272. So you can look those up on the Boulet website. Have, let's see here. My dream pair of boots, price doesn't matter. I want an all alligator pair of boots. All alligator. Alligator here, alligator here, alligator here, alligator 100%. That is epic. I also want a pair of rattlesnakes with the uh, seven toe, which is not too much unlike this narrow square toe here on this area sport boot right here. So I want a rattlesnake boot with that kind of toe style. Love it. Favorite brand of shirts? I don't have a favorite brand yet. I'm still getting into it. Still getting into shirts. Usually I'm just the kind of guy who goes to thrift stores and be like, oh, this is this shirt fits. Let's go. <laughs> Those are my favorite brand of shirts. Thrift store. <laughs> yes, Carol, talk to Tommaso. Tommaso loves those gator boots. He spends forever trying to get those boots matched up. Yes, if you guys haven't seen that interview with Tommaso that asked the bootmaker, you got to see it. Got to see it. Woo! Let's do it. All right, all right. Not much of a hat man. Not much of a hat man. I do the uh, the baseball hats. I like the I like the baseball hats better than the uh, the big the big cowboy hats. The cowboy hats get they 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 bump the the uh, headrest in the car. So I'd have to choose a really short brim. <clears throat> Just haven't had the patience or the time or uh, I guess the interest to find one. But hopefully that changes here sometime, maybe in 2021 or 2022. We'll see what happens. Yeah, gonna do the $100 area giveaway here in a second. You know it. We're gonna do one of them. We're gonna do one of them. Well, courting seems like the new trend It's simple as it intends No need to pretend It's a good look for a new trend I'm not complaining none If it gets you into cowboy boots and having fun Let's go Courting all the way. <laughs> yes, yes, courting, courting. I don't mind that as a new cowboy boot trend for 2020 and 2021. Not at all, not at all. All right, so we want to do one of the $100 IG winners right now. I think we could probably, we could probably do that. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. <clears throat> let's do it. You gotta take it off or lose the headrest, Lucas says. You gotta take it off. Well, I don't wanna take my I might I don't want my head to get cold in the car. Stet rides in the seat next to you. <laughs> Branded cowboy boot, cowboy hat coming soon. Yes, yes. <laughs> you want me to make a song about pickles? Sure, I can do that. Let's go. <clears throat> I 
I love pickles. I'll eat them till I have my fill. Oh, my favorite kind are the dill. <laughs> you gotta love those pickles. <laughs> dill pickles, all the way. <laughs> oh, song about pickles. <laughs> Bring me the dill pickles. Dill pickles are the best. Although there are some good spicy, spicy pickles too. That's for damn straight. That's for damn sure. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to give away $100 right now on the Instagram post. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to do so uh, so you don't miss out on these sorts of things in the future. We did a $100 gift card. Uh, and this is to Ariat.com. You, you just... Go to Ariat.com, got the $100, you can either take $100 off a pair of boots or uh, buy a pair of jeans or, you know, a shirt, whatever you want. So, let's let's do the IG winner right now. Hold on one second, hold on one second. That's the drum, that's the drums, that's the drums. All right, all right, all right, all right. The winner of the $100 gift card to Ariat.com on Instagram is Mike. Mike, also known as Instagram username Zelznagongikum. Zelznagongikum. All right, congrats, Mike. Congrats. $100 congrats. $100 to use for yourself or maybe for a loved one this holiday season. That, that, that $100 can definitely go a long ways this time of year. Congrats, Mike. Congrats. I'll be messaging you on Instagram. Don't worry about reaching out to me. Uh, it makes it a little bit complicated to be doing, to be doing stuff cross-platform like that. So I will message you. Whew. Thanks, everybody, for joining that Instagram giveaway. That was a lot of fun. That was that was fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do more of those giveaways on Instagram. Sort of spread out the love instead of just here on YouTube. I mean, come on, YouTube is gonna get the best of the best. Do not worry, YouTube. Do not worry, guys. But we gotta share the love a little bit, especially in the Facebook boot group. Which, if you haven't joined yet, definitely consider joining JeremiahCraig.com/bootgroup, and that link will take you directly to the boot group on Facebook. It is a lot of fun. The username again. Jeez, yeah. it was tough. It was a tough one, okay, Governor Brown? Give me a break. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, so guess what? So I'm doing this really cool thing right now with Least of All Recording Studios, and we are going to be doing a custom direct to vinyl recording so if anybody's interested they can have custom versions of one of my songs on a vinyl and it's just for you so basically what happens is when you order one of these vinyls for just 25 dollars i'm going to go into the studio their studio in new york cities on january 8th i think and i'm going to go there and do all these recordings and each song is going to be custom to everybody who orders so one of those songs that you have the option of getting is one shot okay so this is kind of how it would go and we're gonna we're gonna give this one to cooper cooper cullen so let's say cooper gets one and if you wanted to put in your wife's name or somebody else's name yes i could definitely do that you know you just gotta shoot me a message and let me know what you want but if you just said hey hey jeremiah i want one shot cooper says and i say okay cooper this is kind of something how it would go it's custom you know so i can do something like this man just come off the trail and I am thirsty. I need some whiskey. Cooper, do you know where I could get a shot of whiskey without any money? What's that you say, Cooper? 
You mean there are bars out here that will take a 45 caliber bullet and trade you a shot of whiskey for that? That's what I'm talking about, Cooper. Thanks for letting me know. Let's go try it out right now. If it works, they're gonna sing songs about us. I would imagine it going something like this. I coming off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Cooper, and we were searching for some whiskey but had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired To sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games So the other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone And I said, barkeep, we came in only with our guns and good looks We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books But a drink would liven up our weary bones What do you say? And he said, empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. <laughs> one shot, four, one shot, and I only deal in 45. One shot for the whole lot, and that leaves you with one shot for your life. I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds of lives for taking chances. So I told the boys we had a deal and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize or I'll put one shot between your eyes. <laughs> one shot for one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot is all you got. You got one shot for your life. said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores so I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun but he was all wrist and it's all hips so I kept my word a la tete then I was empty but I hadn't spilled a drop his friend made a move and I was quick to my knife yes he knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade I finally drank and said give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life well, before he ran, he let them fall on the ground And I bought the boys and canes another round One shot, four, one shot And I only deal in 45s One shot, that's all you got You got one shot for your life Yeah Thank you so much, Cooper. I really appreciate you. Bam! And that's where the recording ends. And then they pack it up and ship that vinyl out to Cooper. And he is the only one with that vinyl. And then I do it again with El Chapo or with Drifter. So it is up to you. If you guys are interested in getting your own custom vinyl, definitely check it out with least of all. I got a... URL, it's already all set up. Just go to jeremiahcraig.com slash custom vinyl and it will take you right to the page. It's only 25 bucks and it is a super unique and could be rare kind of thing going on. So there's a very limited portions of this because I only have so much time in the recording studio. So get your hands on it if you want. 
if you're interested in supporting me that way. And speaking of which, I have a little bundle going on for the Black Friday weekend. It's not just the big boot brands that can have fun on this Black Friday weekend. Well, I can have fun too. So I put together a little bundle of things. You can get the custom vinyl. You just let me know which one you want. You also get a tumbler with the code on the back for access to the Boots and Ballads vault where you will find videos ahead of time. Like, I just asked Lucas or Neil. They're a part of it. Uh, there's already a video that's going up next week in the vault. Excuse me. Um, they got a keychain. There's a keychain here. You can choose which keychain you want. That also has the code on the back of it for the Boots and Ballads vault. You get a CD and this really cool ornament. This really cool ornament. Old Boots Got Soul. Could you could you imagine putting this on your tree? Little Old Boots Got Soul. <laughs> this is made by Twisted Wheel Fabrication. They're not just in the business of doing metal fabrication. Their lasers also cut and engrave wood as well. So here you got the website on the back. And it's the boot. It is the boot from my logo which I traced the 7031s. So really, when you get that, it is the 7031s just traced. So if you guys are interested in getting that, head on over to jeremiahcraig.com slash store. Only 50 bucks for all of that, plus shipping. So it ends up being around $67. So guys, that deal is going to be done Monday. Monday. Whoo. So get on it because there's not very many of those. Yes, it's been a tough year, Death Like Reviews. I really appreciate you being here. Really appreciate you being here. Mm. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Neil is always, always in there and comments first. So everybody that comes through and is, tries to get the first comment on a vault video, you can't do it because Neil has already had that comment for like a week. <laughs> He's showing everybody who comes through and tries to get that first comment. <laughs> It won't let you comment, Lucas? That's funky. Did, did you click on You got to click on the video open in, in YouTube itself. It's an unlisted video. That's how it works. It's unlisted. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let me, let me know if you, if you still need help with it, Lucas, and we'll figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, you got to do it, Drifter. You got to do it. Any chances that I will grow a huge beard, Corey asks? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I don't think so. The, be the beard looks best short on me. You can go back in some of my old Expressway Balladeer videos where my videos where I'm on tour and I'm sharing my experience and my songs and my travel and, and you know telling stories while on the road. Some of those, I have a pretty big beard and it doesn't look good at all. It doesn't. And there must be something I'm missing with, like, the beard wax and things like that. You guys are telling me, like, all these hat tricks in the live chat. Well, my beard game is weak. And, again, I just don't have the time to figure it out and figure out what wax is the best to make it straight and doesn't look like horrible mess of curly hairs on my face. So I haven't grown a long beard in a very long time. <laughs> Can't do it. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. All right, all right, all right. Let's do another giveaway here. Let's announce the winner of the Facebook boot group, $100. The winner of the $100 Ariat giveaway gift card to use on Ariat.com is Jay Heidel. Jay Heidel with his comment in the Facebook boot group. Congrats, Jay. Congrats. Where's my winner button? Where is it? There it is. Congrats, Jay. Cheers. $100 to Ariat.com. That can go a long way. Can go a long, long way. Mm. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yes. Congrats, Jay. Congrats, Jay. Neil, I had long hair when you joined the channel. Yes, those were during my long hair day. I have a whole bunch of different hairstyles on this channel. Oh, man, you could go way back, and it's just sort of like 
poofy and curly, which is kind of how I like it. I'm trying to control a little bit more these days. I might shave it and do go like real short again here um, this December. Um, long hair, short hair. I got a whole bunch of different hairstyles. I pretty much tried all of them. Pretty much tried. And I did that one where I cut the, I shaved only the bottom of it and then just had like the long hair come over top. I don't know. Undercut is what they call that. I had the undercut for a while. <laughs> Fishing with Nate J won the $100 gift card to Ariat.com. Won the $100 gift card. So let me do one more song here. We're going to do another little giveaway. And then I will announce the winner of the Ariat Sport Boots. I know you guys are chomping at the bit. I know you guys are chomping at the bit for that one. So, got one more song here. And then I will announce that winner as well. And in the meantime, we will do another little giveaway for a CD, a bottle opener, and a boot wallet. You got the bullet now, Gabe? Cheers. Cheers to that. Bam. Let's go. Wyatt's got the mullet. I never rocked the mullet. Never rocked the mullet. Never could get into it. Maybe I'll have to try. <laughs> <laughs> But only if I wanted to piss my wife off. That would not be fun for me. <laughs> she would hate it. <laughs> she would hate it. <laughs> I gotta prepare. I gotta make sure I'm making enough money to warrant the mullet. Then I might be able to get away with it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe when I'm on, uh, what is that crib show where everybody, all the rich people take you on tours of their cribs? If I ever get to that point, then I will try the mullet. How about that? <laughs> I'm not saying they're not cool there. Brenna says no. Brenna says no to the mullet. I guarantee you. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do a giveaway. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to do comment. Now, bam. All right, all right, all right. So, same stuff as before. Where'd I put it? Here it is. CD. Bottle opener, stainless steel. This will stay with you forever. You could drag this behind a boat in the ocean for 30 years and it'd still be fine. Here is a, bo uh, a boot wallet. Also, a phone wallet works in the, on the phones as well. So you can uh, enter to win that now as well. I'm going to play this song called The Connector. Here we go. Comment now. Cooper being really literal about it all. I love it. <laughs> I know folks in every trade those who create and those who aid and i know the tune with your name ask me any time of day i know the boots that will fit i know fools who will never quit and i knew them all before they hit it big on page i'm the connector Storytellers, carpenters, and inspectors And everything in between But I won't lecture, nah no, I'm just here to connect you And then I'll be on my way Those who've been to other worlds And those who've helped this pale blue pearl Become what it is today I know the partner you need Those who can help you to break free And if you ask how to be like me You know exactly what I'll say I'm the 
connector To storytellers, carpenters and inspectors And everything in between But I won't lecture, nah I'm just here to connect you And then I'll be on my way Tellers, carpenters, and inspectors, and everything in between. But I won't lecture. No, I'm just here to connect here, and then I'll be on my way. <laughs> yes, the connector, as I am to so many folks out there, just connecting you to the right boots, and then I'm on my way. Love it. I love having that. Love having that place in so many of your lives out there. Stop it right there. Boom. We're going to have the winner announced right now. We got 27 folks in here. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging with me tonight. This has been a blast. Love it. So here we go. Let's see here. Tanner Towns, you get it. Tanner Towns wins that little giveaway. Congrats, Tanner. With the CD, the bottle opener, and the boot wallet. Congrats, Tan Tanner. Congrats, congrats, congrats. So, now it is time to announce, after Tanner has won the final little giveaway for the day, now it is time to announce the winner of the Ariat Sport Boots. Let's go. And of course, all of this was entered ahead of time. So this isn't for the, we're not going to do the comments like we did for the smaller giveaways. Because not everybody can make it to these things. Not everybody. Every, people got to work. People got to spend time with their family and things. And I understand. And I don't want that to keep them from winning a pair of boots. But, of course, I got some awesome stuff for the folks here with me live as well. So, thank you so much. The winner of the Ariat Sport Boots 11 and a half B size is Nazir Nazir. Congrats, Nazir. Congrats, Nazir. Woo! Nazir gets the Ariat Sport Boots. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Get it, Nazir. Ho, 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 ho. Nazir. In the house, winning those Ariat Sport Boots. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. Tanner. Tanner already won. Tanner won before. <laughs> that's what you get when you're here so frequently. Cheers to that. That's what I'm talking about. Cheers to you, Tanner. Thanks for being here. Only only the folks who are here so frequently can win more than once. Drifter, Lucas. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? I just had a little notification come through from Twisted Willow Fabrication. We have one more winner tonight. We have one more winner. Of course, Twisted Willow Fabrication is one uh, is run, excuse me, by my parents, by my father. And they like to do this good vibes giveaway on these live streams. They like to uh, show their appreciation for the positive folks in the live chat. So they'll come through and they'll text me and they'll say, I want this person to win something and we'll make it for them and send it out. So tonight's Good Vibes giveaway winner is Carol Burgess. Carol, you get that Step in the Strongest Way keychain and it should have the 
code on the back of it for access to my Boots and Ballads vault as well. So congrats, Carol. Thank you for always being such a great and positive presence in the live chat and in the comments as well. It is so incredible. Everybody give it up for Carol as well. Thank you so much for being such a positive presence in the live chat. You are the best, Carol. Seriously, the best. One of the contenders for Strongest Stepper of 2020. And gotta be honest, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. Of course, everybody, <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, all the contenders for the 2020 Strongest Stepper are in the live chat right now. It was a very difficult choice for me. It was so tough. You guys make it so hard because you're so incredibly awesome every single day. So thank you so much. Mm. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Carol Burgess in the house. Congrats on that Good Vibes giveaway. So thank you so much, everybody. Congrats to all the winners tonight. I will be contacting you. Uh, if you won uh, one of the small live stream giveaway packages, please email me. I will put my email back in this comments right here, jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. Email me if you happen to win. Uh, Tanner, Caesar, I believe Caesar won the first one in Alaska. Uh, email me. Thank you so much. Good night, Neil. Thank you for staying up. All right. I got another song to play for us. And then we can hang out. And then we can hang out and uh, sort of just chat it up. Do what you guys want. But this is my song to take us out. This song is one that uh, Cooper, I believe, requested at the beginning of the live stream. Voices in the overtones. And I wanted to finish off the stream with this one because 2020, like we were saying earlier in the stream, has been a very strange year. And uh, this song is about Staying true to yourself. So, in music, let me let me explain this here. In music, an overtone are the notes that are in one note. So, for example, that right there, that's an F. So, in an F note, in that one note, you have the overtones. So, you also can hear if you listen very closely. You can hear an A and a C and maybe an E flat. So those are overtones. So it's not just the F. You cannot hear one note and not have it be supported by those other overtones. The A, the C, and the E flat in the F's case. So you, you always hear the, the third, the fifth, and the seventh, right? So that also kind of goes into who we are as people, right? Stick with me for a second on this metaphor, because if somebody calls me an F, <laughs> I'm not just an, like, just because they said that I'm just an F isn't true, because I also have that A, that C, and that E flat, and some other notes way, 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 way in the background. I got a bunch of different notes that make up me as a person, that make up Jeremiah. So you, Drifter, Circle of Fists, you know how it goes, you, Drifter, you got, you're not just an F. <laughs> you're also that A, you're also that C. You're also, you're so much more than just Drifter, right? So that's what this song is about. It's about staying true to yourself. If you got dreams, shoot for them, go for them. Because only you know that you'll be able to achieve them. It doesn't really matter what other people think. If they think that you're just an F, you know that you also have that A, that C, and the other notes behind you. You can tell them the F off. This is Voices in the Overtones. Try easy. Trying too hard has betrayed me. Men in the vanguard invade me. And with just a few scars, we relax and sneak past in the morning. Now the faceless, the 
built on this bog to be graceless. The earth rolled as the logs to inflate it. With false empty throngs, we relax and sneak past in the morning. We were chased in to get in line for erase when we recalled some sweet wines made with raisins. And we'll drink it in time, we relax and sneak past in the morning. Just as I notice, we won't age when we're young and youth when we're grown and play the song from home. And I heard voices in the overtones. Now, hello, old friends, got much to defend. Come in and dry off for a while. Let's talk where to begin, and I'll pack up my things and ready for every mile. Thanking voices. We got half as much as we have expected, but still we took all that we could get. We made it this far, only half detected by all those old Confederates. We got half as much as we have expected, that's why we always ask hi. With so much not even half elected, it won't take long to wonder why. We were pursued at the border, called the eye of the controller, who put our names in a folder and still follows us worriedly. So on the freeway, we sang the old tunes that been waylaid by white hairs with brooms from their heyday. But with no stock in moons, we relax and sneak past in the morning. We missed schooling and still showed up late for the ruling to be branded in hate by the drooling. Ew. But with no chain on the gate, we relax and sneak past in the morning. Thought at lengths as we listened to air and we gave thanks to a beauty so fair that it outranks any hounding despair. We relax and sneak past in the morning. Yeah. Now, just as I noticed the passengers blamed for a flight that never could have flown, then played a song from home. And I heard voices in the overtones. Yes, hello, old friends, you've had much to defend. Come in and dry off for a while. Let's talk where to begin, and I'll pack up my things and ready for every mile. Thanking voices in the After little thefts and small obsessions, we passed on our tickets to the nosebleeds. Their mistakes are our lessons, and it's citing in our own creed. After little thefts and small obsessions, we all agreed how the deal would go down. In vacant dates and intentions, we are only guided by the sound and the bells ring. Clearly, frequencies fly freely, and we follow the feeling to stroll right past security. Yes. <laughs> All right now, so come hither and rest past the wall just for shivers. Ignore the loud call for quick treasures, for they've come to us all. We relax and snuck past in the morning. Yes, relax and sneak past in the morning. Stay true to yourself. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. You guys are the best. Whew. Now this show is in your hands. What do you guys want? 
If you guys got questions, you guys want me to play some more songs, I can I can do whatever you guys feel like. Let's go. Thank you so much, Drifter. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mind over matter, matter, Carol. That's what I'm talking about. Things may surprise you. Oh, there's so many surprising things in this world. So, so, so many. So many surprising things. You never know what to expect. Yo, yes. Lucas wants to hear she knows where to go. I can do that. Hmm. I could do that. Yeah, Carol, no harmonica. I was putting together the set list, and then I looked at it, and I was like, wait a minute. There's no harmonica in the set list tonight. What is the deal? <laughs> all right, all right. I can do this. I can do that. All right, so since I got the guitar right here, I'll do She Knows Where to Go, and then I will do In the Pines. I will do, I will do both of those songs right now. Thank you. says last name comes with a lot of bad, bad luck I thought the same thing about my last name my real last name Jeremiah is my first name Craig is my middle name then my uh, real last name is actually mother cell but I'm going to be changing that to Brenna's last name. I'm going to be one of the rare men who uh, changes his last name. Because we can make our own luck. I'm going to be... I'm going to, I'm going to be the one who has a maiden name. Lots of us come from families who, you know, we're better without or come with some weird baggage. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Trust me. It's a strange world out there. <clears throat> it's kind of what this song is about. It's kind of what this song is about. Making your own luck, choosing. Choosing about where you want to go. It's all good, Wyatt. It's all good. What did you say you were, like 16? You got your whole life. You got your whole life. I've been working at this. I've been working at this thing forever. And it's finally just starting to, to work. So if you stick with it for long enough, it might seem like it's bad luck. But if you stick with it, it pays off. It really does. It's a blast. All of the trials soon are through. She's left there on a dark avenue. So far from home. Her old friends, the 
sailors, they're all gone, and others have stowed away before the dawn. Dark clouds will soon make their rounds, but she knows where to go. Bench offers no protection from the rain. She don't have to face that shame, oh no. She know where to go. She know where to go. She know where to go. But she. the first time hurts the worst but she won't lose just look at the clues she longs to find a new place without finding any lines to trace her past behind she has the time She knows where to go She don't have to deal With that pain She don't have to face that shame Yes, she paces to and fro. She knows where to go. She knows where to go. On Gardner Hands. Mm, mm, mm. Gardner Hands is crazy front to back. Thank you so much, Lucas. I'm really glad you liked that. Do you know the uh, album art? Her Gardener Hands was made by Brenna, actually. That was all her. All her. All her. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cooper. All right. Let me uh, give you the lowdown on next month's giveaway. Okay? This is crazy. <clears throat> so, as you guys might have suspected with everything that's going on, next month's giveaway will be for a pair of Ruho boots, okay? Ruho in the house. Worked out a deal with them to offer not one giveaway, but two giveaways. So, it's going to be one of those giveaways where the winner gets to choose their size, but there's going to be one male winner and one female winner. So we're going to definitely come away with a woman who wins a pair of boots in their size and a man who won a pair of boots in their size. But it gets better. You get to choose the boot you want. So you don't have to get a full quill ostrich tan boot. You could go for a square toe double stitched welt caiman. Or you could get the regular suede or rough out. You could get whatever boot you want. It's going to be epic, guys. Epic. And we're going to have a couple of live streams before the Boots and Ballads announce where you'll have extra chances to win extra entries. Just like last year when we did the giveaway with the Yeehaw Cowboy uh, boots. 
We're doing the live streams ahead of time. So if you happen to win, just like what we did today, the little giveaways where you comment and stuff like that, we're going to be doing that next month. I believe on the 5th and the 11th. I, I don't take my word for those dates, but we're going to have two live streams before the actual Ruho giveaway live stream where you will get a chance to win five extra entries. So I'm not just meaning like, yeah, if you win right now, you'll get an extra entry. No, you will get five extra entries for a total of six extra entries to win a pair of Ruho's of your choosing in your size, both men and women. So it's going to be an epic holiday season here on the channel. We're going to be announcing the winner on uh, December 19th on a Boots and Ballads live stream then. So get ready. It is going to be awesome. The Brujo Boots giveaway video, the extended test, and all of the information about it drops on Tuesday, December 1st. We are wasting no time. We are wasting no time. December means giveaways. Let's go. <laughs> yes, Gabe. Yes, you know it, Robert. Yeah, Carol. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Carol. <laughs> we are making this happen this season. So, like I said, it's not just one boot like it was last year with these Yeehaw Cowboy Came and Tail Snip Toe, which was an awesome, fun giveaway. We're making it two pairs, one for the ladies and one for the guys. I am so pumped for this, so pumped, and only five folks know it. You guys are the best. You guys know the secrets. <laughs> oh, six, six folks know the secret now. <laughs> We're ramping things up. We're ramping things up. All right, all right. Let me get the banjo real quick and then I'll play in the pines for you. <clears throat> All right. I'm so pumped for December. Um, also, a lot of other small giveaways, too, that are going to be fun. So don't miss out. There's going to be a lot, a lot of fun things going on um, next month. This was a warm-up. And then I hope to have some fun things happen in, uh, in uh, 2021, too. I wanted a little... I wanted a lot more giveaways this year. I wanted to do a lot, but then Corona hit, and damn, that messed up everybody's plans. So then trying to get um, the cowboy boot companies to, you know, sponsor videos or do giveaways, it just got really tough really fast. So I wanted to, to do more. Uh, hopefully we can get that back rolling. Hopefully we can get that back rolling in 2021. Don't know if I'll be able to do one every month. That was pretty, <laughs> that was a pretty <laughs> excited, uh, I guess, a goal. It was a pretty high goal to have for 2020. <laughs> Even with just, just no pandemic, it was a pretty difficult goal to have, but we'll see what I can manage in 2021. The world went to flames real fast. <laughs> Oh, Lucas, I can't wait to get back into the stores, too. Not only do I just love going to traveling around, but I also like, you know, sharing the love. Little small mom and pop stores. It's it's a it's really nice to visit the, them and uh, and 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 work with them, even when they can be featured, too. Those are always really fun videos.
song old bluegrass song in the pines there for you thank you thank you so much for the suggestion there carol oh yes 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 reminds you of your place in texas that's what i'm talking about yes <laughs> all right all right that sounds awesome that sounds awesome i'm gonna come by and visit when corona's over and I can get back on the road. Looking forward to coming to Texas. <clears throat> Doing some reviews in, in uh, boot stores there. Could hit one on every corner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't wait to hit the road again. Man, I was actually thinking about going on tour last year for this year in April, right when it got real bad. I'm glad that it didn't go through. But man, do I miss the road. I love being on tour. My favorite Bob Dylan album. Well, they're all really, really good, Cooper. They're all awesome. Even the ones that aren't really good because it just shows like, like uh, what is the one? A self-portrait? Like that one is, that one, a lot of times he just does these things just for the sake of doing it, right? It's like a, like a palate cleanser. Like you'll listen to B Dylan and then the next album will be completely different and then the album after that will be a little bit different but it's like he'll put the album out there as like a palate cleanser to get you ready for the next one so his strategy to albums is really interesting to me and that's why his voice changes so many times his style changes so many times throughout the decades i learned a lot from studying all of um uh, all of uh dylan's stuff but i would have to say that if i'm just in the mood for some dylan i want to listen to it i got to go with Probably Blood on the Tracks. It's just awesome. Every single song on that album is just a masterpiece. Blood on the Tracks, I think, is his best. Um, but there are a lot, especially when he made the transition from folk music to rock music, that are really good, too, like Blonde on Blonde. But when it comes down to it, I love Blood on the Tracks. I know. Too bad I can't do any... Uh, covers here i got hit with a copyright strike this week or a copyright notice this week on a song that i didn't even play 
<laughs> I'm so careful with my copyrights, and they hit me with one <laughs> that I didn't even do. So they're even they're just they're just gunning for me. This is how dangerous it is to play cover music <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> they come for you even when you don't play the song. <laughs> I am on YouTube's ass about it right now. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. They're giving they're giving all of the power to the big corporations who have their algorithms set up and say, oh, because you use this melody kind of sounds like it was in this song. Like I was playing something like well, I was playing this old I was think I was playing like um Darling Corey or some old folk song or something that's definitely in the public domain because it is so old. And they said the melody sounded like Before I Met You or something, some song like that. It's like, I wasn't even playing that song. What are you doing? What are you doing, YouTube? Get a hold of yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm better than that. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep my shit together here. <laughs> it's not fair. Because <laughs> I, would, I would definitely like to take advantage of uh, some of those some of those things and but then you you got to share revenue and you got to go through all this stuff and it's like this and that and it's like uh, i don't really know if i can do that right now so maybe sometime i gotta listen to more david bowie alaska i gotta get into it Trav and wilburys are always good totally true totally true i got my own i got i got my stuff copyrighted I'm gonna have to come after these folks who who don't play my songs and tell them that they, that they played my songs. <laughs> oh, you played Michael Jackson? It sounded like she knows where to go. Give me some of that money. <laughs> you gotta use their tricks against them. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. All right. What song do we, what do I want to end with here? <clears throat> Let's see here. <laughs> Anybody want to hear anything in particular? I'm kind of feeling like playing some Man in the Suit of Mirrors, but if anybody wants to hear anything in particular, go ahead and put her in a, put her in the chat and I'll make it the, lo the last song. My battery is almost dead on my camera here, and I should get on going. This has been a really fun live stream. I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you guys had fun, too. You want to hear Nights and Weekends? I think we could do that. Get the harmonica back out for that. Let's do it. <clears throat> Sorry, Lucas. Carol got her comment in faster than you. At least on my end. Here we go. Nights and weekends. in debt. So many regrets he can't count them on his hands and toes. Another late notice from Alice the Mad Lady. She got eyes for him to cure his woes. He says, how about I come on over tonight? It looked like you're in need of a good time. At first he declines. But then she flashed a banny and it changed his mind. All those Benjamin Franklins will do it every time. Yeah. See, Alice was nothing special. She looked like a pair in a plastic bag with a few decades of driving mail. Places of hurt began to sag, but after he accepted the offer, his face turned one of the deepest shades of red. A big smile came to her face. She touched his cheek and then she said, You don't need no candles, no. You don't need no wine. You don't need your bed made up with those linens so fine. For you to ask him for just one thing he said it's good but in the future nights and weekends is the time to call yeah. <laughs> well 
The night was heavy on him As he got ready for the arrival of Addison Even though he really didn't have to He shaved to have a nice, smooth phallus And when the night was over She said, you know, I got some friends Who'll be into this kind of thing Yeah, you need help and you can help them Speak up, boy, now what do you think? You don't need no candles, now You don't need no wine <laughs> You don't need your bed made up With those linens so fine If they ask for you, they're asking for Just one thing, he said, you tell them The nights and weekends Is the time to call, yeah Aha. So we started getting all of those notifications, all those DMs, even emails. <laughs> Netscape in the house. He got himself out of debt with no regrets except for one. But he got that cured. It was all for Addis on a route every day. She was out there spreading the word. He was booked tied for the first two years. That is until he raised his price. Now you better have big money. <laughs> if you want to head on over to his place tonight. Now he buys the candles. Yeah. And he buys the wine. <laughs> He's got his best. With those linens so fine And if you ask for him You ask him for Just one thing But remember that Nights and weekends Is the time to call Yeah <laughs> Alright That's what I'm talking about, Carol. Pick up that phone and call your local nights and weekends worker. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you guys are fun. Thank you so much, Lucas. I will do Steel Never Cold for Long on Mondays, Coffee and Music, right here on YouTube. You guys are the best. I'm wishing you the best weekend. My, my battery is about to die, and I hope that you have a spectacular rest of your Saturday and a relaxing Sunday. If you're into football, I hope your team wins tomorrow, um, unless it's the Chargers. <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Peace, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. And, oh, no, oh, no, there goes the camera. Bam. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Peace. Let's kick ass and take names tomorrow. And this coming week, remember to stay happy, healthy, and smart out there. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one.